This is question number 22. Uh, we are told the position vectors of A and B are minus 4, 6 and uh, minus 8, 2 respectively. At the midpoint, the point M is a midpoint of AB and uh, point N is a midpoint of OA. A, find Roman number 1. Find, A, find Roman number 1. The vector AB. You get two marks. Uh, so we can make a sketch here to guide us on how to go about it. Uh, so we can say that is our our A, our B, and since we have been given the position vector, it means the coordinate of A is minus six, not minus six, but min minus four six, minus four six, because this is the position vector, and for B it is minus eight and we have two uh, we can approximate that uh, this is where we have our 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 origin so we can make uh, these are uh, position vectors uh, these are position vectors and uh, we put the direction uh, the direction like that this is the origin so that is the way then we can say uh, m is a midpoint of a b so we can say our m is roughly there uh, and our n is a midpoint of OA. So this is where we have our n. So this means that uh, this side is equal to that uh, and this side is equal to that. Or oh, you can just say, uh, let's use this, this side is equal to that to differentiate uh, the sides. Uh, so we are told to find OA, rather vector AB. AB is this vector so you move against a o o a so it means a b it is moving from a to b you go minus against o a so we put the minus and you go around the vector o b so o b which is equals to o b minus o a our o a our o b is equals to 8 minus 8 2 that is a position vector minus OA is minus 4, 6, like that. So this will give us uh, minus 8 minus, uh, minus, minus 4. That will be minus 8 plus 4. That will give us minus 4. And the other one is 2 minus minus 2. Uh, that is 2 minus minus minus. Uh, no, this is supposed to be, uh, this is not minus. This is a positive, so there we made a mistake. So it is minus two, two minus six that will give you minus four. So that is a vector a b like that. We come to Roman number two, the coordinates of point M and N. So to get that, uh, M is a midpoint of uh, of uh, a b. It means that if we draw a line there, we can get O M. So uh, one way we can uh, we can do this is to say uh, O M is equals to O M is equals to O A uh, plus a half A B, and we already have our O A. Uh, it is we already have it here. It is minus four, and this is six. And then we say plus I have we have we already have a b which we have here so we have it is a half uh, minus 4 minus 4 which is equals to minus 4 6 and this is a uh, plus uh, minus 2 minus 2 so minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 that will give us minus 6 and uh, then the other one is uh, let's put it like this minus six uh, that this will be six plus minus two that you give us four so that is uh, so that is om uh, what it means is that uh, the coordinates of m are since this is om minus six and four uh, you can use an alternative uh, method you can use a coordinate so you can uh, just to show you how we do that uh, 
let me use this space you can take the coordinates of m so you say m uh, then you have it is minus 4 you add to minus 8 and you divide by 2 and this will be uh, you you take 6 uh, plus uh, 2 and you divide by uh, you divide by 2 so you can see this will be minus 4 minus 8 that is minus 12 if you divide by 2 you get minus 6 uh, this is a uh, uh, 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 you get 4 it is also an easier way of getting the coordinates uh, so that's one way uh, we are also supposed to get the coordinates of n uh, let's use this space here uh, I don't know whether it will be enough for us uh, so n is a midpoint of uh, of OA so we can say uh, O n is equals to a half uh, OA which is equals to a half uh, OA is a minus 4 6 uh, which will give us uh, this is minus 2 and this is a uh, this is a 3 uh, so it means the coordinates of M are minus 2 and 3 uh, alternatively you can take 4 minus 4 you divide by 2 like we have done here you can say n you say it is minus 4 divided by 2 because it is halfway the half the, the length of OA and you take uh, as also you take 6 divided by 2 you still be able to get that so that's how you go about that uh, Roman number 3 the magnitude of MN uh, let's draw that uh, that uh, vector this is uh, nm so that is a vector nm uh, so nm uh, we say uh, we can nm we can say it is na uh, nm is equals to uh, N A or minus a half O A minus a half O A and we say plus uh, A M A M is the same as a half A a half we have said a half uh, instead of doing that we can uh, we can be able to get uh, we can do it like this uh, we are looking for N M so we can go to uh, minus O that is uh, let's put it like this uh, Nm is equals to minus On uh, plus Om the reason I'm doing that is because we already have On and we already have Om so this is equals to uh, On we have already found it is uh, so we are talking of minus uh, so this will be minus uh, 2 minus 2 and this is 3 uh, so put the bracket there uh, plus uh, or rather you can put it like this eh? can put it like this uh, it is equals to om minus on so this will be easier for us om we have found it is this one so it is minus 6 4 and we have a uh, mi minus o n we have found it is a uh, it is 2 minus 2 uh, 3 so this is equals to minus 6 minus minus 2 that is to minus 6 plus uh, 4 2 you get minus 4 and then we have uh, we have uh, this is a uh, minus 4 uh, that is uh, roman number 3 that's what you are doing uh, then we have uh, uh, 4 minus 3 that will give us 1 so how do we get uh, let's put this one here how do we get the magnitude uh, so uh, nm is equals to the square root of minus 4 uh, squared uh, then we have uh, this is plus 1 squared this is this will be uh, minus 4 squared is equals to uh, minus 4 squared that will give us uh, 
my uh, that is minus 4 squared that will give us 16 uh, then 16 uh, what we do is we add one so this will be the square root of uh, 17 when you get the square root of 17 you use your calculator to do to get that so this will give you 4.12 and that's how you work out that we go to part uh, that is uh, Roman part B the coordinates of C uh, is 2a uh, vector C a is parallel to vector OB so C a this is OB so it means uh, our C our vector our C a C a so we can put that vector somewhere here uh, let's say this is where we have our C this is where we have our C so that C A is parallel to O B like that and we have been given uh, the coordinates of C are 2 and A 2 and A uh, so what we do is uh, we can say uh, we, we are told uh, determine the value of A so C A we can C A is equals to uh, C A is equals to uh, minus my, minus O C plus O A so we say it is minus O C plus O A and this will give you O A minus O C so we get that vector which we have this vector uh, so we have our we have our OA our OA got, uh, is uh, minus 4 and 6 and we have our OC our OC is uh, our OC is uh, OC is we have coordinates of C uh, is 2 and we have uh, that is 2 and uh, A that is 2 and A which is equals to uh, now we can say this is a uh, mi minus 4 minus 2 that is minus 6 and this is uh, 6 minus a 6 minus a uh, so though that is a vector uh, that is a vector uh, that is a vector c a we have our we have our o b our o b is uh, 8 minus 8 and 2 and since they are they are they are parallel then it means ob can be written in terms of uh, oc so we use k the constant uh, and this is uh, now our, our minus 6 and this is 6 uh, minus a so it is a scalar multiple because they, we are told they are parallel so we can now simplify and uh, we say uh, we can now say k is equals to uh, 8 uh, that is 8 and f uh, 8 and uh, this is 8 over 4 uh, which is equals to 4 over 3 uh, so this 8 over 4 uh, is equal so this because they are the same k that is uh, this is not 4 but we are saying minus 8 is is equals to minus six k so this is six uh which is now we will be able to get uh, our k uh from after getting k then what we do we say six that is six minus a is equals to uh we have that is a uh, since we have found k you multiply by k you multiply by k our constant multiply by four over three that should give you the value 2 this 2 here so this is 2 when you simplify you find that uh, 8 minus 4 over 3a is equals to 2 you find a is equals to uh, 9 over 2 which is the same as uh, this you can say it is 4 point uh, let's write that properly this is 4.5 so that is the value of a 
uh, after working it like that. So this is 4.5. Uh, we can, I can write it properly there so that you can be able to see it. So that uh, 4.5, 4.5. So that is how you work out that question uh, and you'll be able to get yourself 10 marks. The complication with the vector question is that you must be very careful with the initial stages uh, when you are solving a vector question. Because you see here, what we started with AB, which we came and used in uh, Roman number 2, AB, a half AB. So if you messed with the first part here, then it means the second part is uh, cannot be correct, uh, meaning you continue, you mess up with the, with the whole question. So if you are not sure, uh, of the first part here, then uh, I would advise that you don't uh, attempt a quest, this kind of question. You must be very careful with the initial stages of this question.